If you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Liberals are the worst human beings that have ever walked on the planet. They're your artists. They're your low class, low educated. They're the most ignorant. They are the most acting. They, they don't have anything of substance to bring to the table, but they can occur as if they do. Think about what I said. They're the vagabonds. They're the people in school that made F's and D's. They're the ones that didn't care about the system. They didn't even try. And then they brag about it. And then they snake oil salesmen you into submission. Yeah, you all right. Go take a look at who's showing up to Fly Fish Club this coming days. You show up at the Fly Fish Club with Mona Van. And then everybody take a look at reality versus Gary V's delusion. Go take a look at who he's pranced around the fucking globe and we'll take a look at reality while you live in your fucking delusion land of what you think you're getting from me. No, I fucking set your ass up. You want to take a long, hard look at what the vagabonds and the people without a fucking education are willing to do to get you into the marketing space that you thought that you were going to get off of me, who has an education. So I have the education while Gary Vee works with Newsom, who's part of the elite. Understand that there's a whole sector of the nastiest of the nastiest of the mafia associated to the government, and I'm literally exposing the biggest Watergate in history. And there is no availability to blame someone else like you did with Nixon to make him the blame. No, this is going to be on Newsom's shoulders and AOC's shoulders and Whitmore's shoulders and all you other fools' shoulders like Shapiro and Kamala because you videotaped it. And then you put it on the platform and you literally disrespected an American citizen who has ties to the federal government. You even used the judicial system off of the illegally to abuse my First Amendment right by supporting a Russian and a Persian. While you then expose that her last name isn't really Van, it's Zavavan. Which again shows us how you're all a bunch of liars and then you're trying to entertain us off that shit. You want to understand how you're trying to dumb down society? However, I'm not dumb and neither is Donald Trump and neither is Rudy Giuliani. Although what we are doing is we're exposing what you're capable of and bringing awareness to Americans what foreigners on our land are willing to do to win in money, but you're already rich. Democrats are scumbags. They got kicked out of the Republican Party because they're snake oil salesmen. Republicans work like the handshake. Democrats pretend as if they work with the handshake. Proof is in who you're fucking engaged to, you fucking prick. So he literally terrorizes children by inviting a Persian to VCon 2022. To set the trajectory and the tone for where we're headed in this country, where he then invites Peg Moore to sit on a stage and bullshit an audience, and the audience doesn't even say anything. He invites Ginger Beloved constantly to be on his platform. To disrespect people so that he can get attention. Understand that he thinks that's day trading attention. While you as the audience just live in your snake oil salesman world. So you're all a bunch of psychopath, low-level, 
low, 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 who know how to work the algorithm, who put on a fancy outfit with your tits hanging out, wear a fucking bikini and jump around. And they, in their mind, think that that's valid content. That's, that's indecent exposure. It's against the law. That is against the law to disrespect me, Pookie. How many nails? How many more times are you going to get your nails done, Addie McCracken? See, these women, uh, what you as audience want to understand is these women have no interest in doing right by you as audience. They don't want to be told no. They don't want to do the effort. They just want to show up at a bar, have the drinks pre-made, and then just pass them out as if they're working. Understand that and you'll understand Kylie Jenner's nasty body who looks like a fucking walking stick. While you as the audience are angry and pissed off, but guess what? You're suppressed in that anger because you're being told to be joy and happiness. Your democracy's at stake. Yeah, your democracy's at stake, all right. It's because of Kamala Harris. Because she wants you and is expecting you to feel joy and happiness with everything that she tells you. Community guidelines. Kamala Harris, community guidelines. If 99% of Americans are saying they want Donald Trump and only the 1% of the most worthless people in history, they're getting the free ride want Kamala Harris, what does that tell you? If they're trying to get, this is so common sense shit, it is absolutely disgusting to watch you Americans stand outside of Donald Trump's tower to act like a fucking moron. You're all morons. That's not American. Whatever they're doing there, that's not American. That's not fighting for rights. That's not doing anything but making yourself a criminal. Because without integrity, nothing works. And none of you with the Pal Palestinian supports, none of that works. There's no fucking way. How the fuck are you going to send a signal to a, a, a pager that doesn't have a um, igniting system already in it? How is that going to blow up? So months ago, or however long ago, they hired these people to give them a weapon known as a pager. Now we're going to act as if Kamala Harris is involved. Because you might want to consider that the Americans did do that to you, Hezbollah. Because if Kamala Harris is going to show up, she's in charge. So they sold you on pagers. Nobody uses a fucking pager anymore, just to let you know. So I don't even know what you, the fuck you were thinking. Then they text the pager the number at the same time, and they blow up Hezbollah. And then you're going to blame Israel, and Kamala Harris is behind it. Then Blinken's going to go on stage and say, we didn't have anything to do with that. Understand what I just said, and you'll understand that that is an American, by the way. We have our own terrorist group here in this country. Because you know damn well that we had a peace treaty with the terrorists of the Middle East. With Donald Trump. Meaning even the terrorists have a better life with Donald Trump. Because it's not as unclear with spread eagle women and you men in Hezbollah and Hamas know that these bitches are fucking nasty. You went fucking mentally ill. Don't tell me shit. You're weak as fuck too because nobody is more powerful than the United States of America which pisses you off but that's because we have unity and you don't. And you wouldn't even know what that even fucking means because you have women like Mona Van. That's your fucking proof. 
nasty ass Persian bitch.